Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a device to an existing addressable fire alarm system. And this will also be a video showing me finishing my fire alarm system. As you guys know, I've been waiting to finish my brand new fire alarm system for a while, waiting on this SD365 white addressable smoke detector. So this is the detector that I've been needing to finish the system. So here's our detector. So first things first, here's the junction box for the detector. Now this will be address number five. So I'm gonna start off by setting the address on our new detector. So now the tens place here, if I can get that in the light, that will stay at zero, because this is only gonna be address number five and our ones place here. Two, three, four, five, will be set to five. So now, we will want to do some stuff at our panel. Now, first things first, before you start touching stuff, if your system's monitored, you'll want to call the monitoring company and put the system on test or maintenance, however your company does it. So now, I normally wouldn't, but just to show a good example, I'm just going to pull the SLC here. This panel has short circuit protection on the SLC. It wouldn't kill the panel, but it's just better to do so. Now, this is going to pop up with a bunch of troubles now that once the panel realizes... So we have an open, now we'll have a bunch of invalid replies. So first I'm going to take our base here and install it on the ceiling. And then we will wire up the base which we'll only be using the positive, which is this one, and the negative here. RA is for uh, remote enunciation with lights and stuff. Or That's a different thing that we're not going to get into. Partly because I don't know the ins and outs of it and it's not important for most installations. Now we'll slide our mounting bracket over our wires, which uh, Firelight, Notifier, and all the other companies that make this detector have actually made it really easy to do. Slide it back the other way, and it's on. Tighten these screws. Now I had the SLC temporary moretted or wire nut together to make sure it was a complete circuit so that we could program the rest of it and have the Class A SLC happy. So now we'll put both positives underneath the positive, positive screw terminal. And both negatives under the negative terminal. Then making sure your head is set to the proper address. You can line it up properly. The easiest way to do is line up the three nubs since there's only one side of the detector that's got three nubs. And then twist. Looking good. Or uh, and pull off your desk cap. Unless there's more work being done in the building, pull it off. So now you can re-plug in your SLC. So our troubles as far as the device is cleared, but our SLC's open fault still there, so we will just reset the system, and once it's done resetting, the trouble should be gone. Now it's going to initialize for a while, but once it's done initializing, it should be back okay. So now that the system's done resetting and initializing, we will want to go into programming, which for that you can either hit mode or enter, and two for programming, enter password, your factory uh, master password is five zeros, which is the same on notifiers panels. If it's their Onyx series, then it's, I believe, eight zeros. Um, so now we don't want to do auto program because that's what we would have already done when the system was brand new. So now we will go to um, point program which is 2 and we will do detector which is number 1 and we will do add which is number 1 again and the device is 0050 
0005 and it's a smoke photo so we'll hit number one detector is added So now we can go to number three, which is edit, and that will be zero, zero, 005, at which we have set to smoke photo, and we can scroll down, enable the yes type smoke photo, verify, I accidentally just hit reset with my finger, so I'll come back once it is done resetting. I think this is where we left off at edit detector, so this will be zero, zero, 005, that's two, that's the wrong one, escape. Sorry about that, zero, zero, 005. And now we can set different things like verification, walk test, yes, pre signal. I want it set to pre signal since it's a smoke detector. Um, keep scrolling down, we can assign it to a zone. I don't have any zones set up right now. Description is what you might you will probably definitely want to fill out so you can go to 2 for description and then you can start naming your detector which you just type on it like an old school texting so that detector is now added and as you can see it is pulling where it's flashing so now the last thing you'll want to do is test it hi you thought I was gonna get to show you guys testing nope that's going to be in my new system test video where I test the whole new system. I'm sure you guys will be looking forward to that one and I'm going to make you guys wait. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Any comments, leave those down below. Thanks for watching.